Chelsea Griffin and I'm a recovering chauvinist. This is also a response to Hannibal Victor 13. It's also a comment to Exiled. Uh, it is also a big thank you to Jordan Nolan 42 for being incredibly mature about the whole thing and a commentary on society and emotion. What is... I want to try and sim simplify this from the... I've done about 10, 20 takes of this and it was like, you know, seven, eight uh, minutes apiece. So I've been at this for most of the morning. Here's where I ask you a question. What is a white knight? Now to some people, it's a chauvinist. Now what is a chauvinist? A chauvinist is someone who shows excessive affection towards something or someone to the point of objectification. And of course, uh, and I as a recovering chauvinist, I have to blame that tendency in myself for ruining my relationship with Divinity 33372. I blame my fault and I admit it. Came across like a half cocked idiot while she was dealing with trolls and that. Uh, soccer accounts, that sort of thing. And she didn't trust me. Can't blame her. Miss her. Then again, we all do. Uh, Spaz Fox and Varmint Coyote. Misunderstood what I said. Uh, didn't get back to me, which was a pity. And then. Yeah, they assumed the worst. And actually <laughs> generated something very fun out of it. Um, however, yeah, it's really a, what do you call it? It's really a case of them misunderstanding me. And then there was a socio student. She thought I was making a crack about a marriage at a bad time. It's almost the same thing as what happened with Divinity 33372. And I haven't heard from her since. Still, I'm a, I'm a big fan of her work, uh, especially with, uh, that radio program she's doing. So, what am I... What am I trying to say here? Well, the problem is, while we can communicate more things to more people at this time in society, we have what Derek Jensen, environmentalist and all around top bloke, would call a toxic mimic of the dispute resolution class in our society. Believe it or not, politicians... <laughs> I know, now you're starting to see the toxic side. Politicians, reverends, rabbis, religious people, spiritual leaders, their all their original purpose was dispute resolution. They were supposed to coordinate things and act as representatives of the morality of their community. That is why you wanted your politician to be a little bit diplomatic, that is to die to uh, plomatic, which means to speak uh, to speak to people in two tongues. Because you wanted him to be able to communicate offhandedly and uh, using the vernacular with the community. However, you wanted also him to be able to speak slightly more formally to an assembly of people from other places so that he could represent you. Now, the problem is definition and nuance. Now, take a, the term white knight. I would have considered myself a white knight a couple of years ago. You know, it was all for, you know, women's liberation and doing things, you know, with women and for women to, you know, enhance women. I wanted the best. To me, a white knight is someone with the best of motivations, uh, who acts, you know, valiantly despite their help being needed or not. To some people, however, a white knight is someone who is uh, more of a chauvinist and just says, now, love, you just let a man handle this. So he's really putting down women uh, by insisting that they can't do anything for themselves. Definition. They're opposed definitions. Because one wouldn't do some of the things the other wouldn't. And that's the thing. So, it depends on your perspective. And the problem we have with uh, people on the internet uh, is that, one, we're not taught how to resolve conflict we're not taught how to sit down, because we feel very pressed for time, and it does take time to do this. However, we don't sit down and go over things so that we can resolve our issues. It looks more like Jordan Owen's uh, video, and that took an hour. He didn't do it point by point, uh, and that was for brevity, and it still went up being over an hour. However, he was nuanced, he was sincere, and he was trying to be a peacemaker, and I think did a pretty good job. However, when you have a society where you're 
come from your culture and your society and your background and your vernacular and your your nomenclature and your pericope and you are taught in school that there is only one answer and you've been given it so you better learn it and everyone is taught that same thing only everyone is taught a different answer eventually you wind up with a situation where nobody agrees and when you take out the priest class the politicians the spiritual leaders who resolve disputes and show people how to resolve disputes for themselves what do you expect I'm a recovering chauvinist and I've had to hammer this out for myself in my own self and it hurts However, it's good for you. Anyway, I hope this has given everyone some insight. I'll catch you later. And good luck.